Was it a West Cave? Tis a shame, Agnes. But Tis has a kind heart. And I know he will take good care of you. That, I guarantee. Tis, I am counting on you to escort Agnes with the utmost care. I don't think he needs any advice from you, Ringabel. It's not fair! I thought I was your perfect partner, Agnes! And now you're leaving me behind? <laughs> How could you? After all we've been through? I am sorry, Ari. I hope you can understand. Stop acting like a brat and give them a proper seeing off, Ari. Go on, get going already. We'll be back soon. Take your time. Shouldn't be that big of a deal. I don't think we got anything to worry about as far as like. What are like the monsters in here? We pretty much have um, everything maxed out, so we'll be alright. But I would like to check that box because I know that's one of the ones that, that was locked. I still don't have a key for these. They're still locked. Thank you. 
teleport stone that wasn't worth it. We just mowing down these monsters like it ain't nothing. There you are. Ah, so this is the one you have chosen. I envy him. You make a fine pair. Were I a thousand eight hundred and eighty years younger, I would gladly have taken your hand in his stead, Agnes. A thousand eight hundred and eighty? Yeah, yeah. Uh, beside that, please tell what you know. Yes, that is why we have come to you, Sage. Do you understand what I meant when I said it was the first time we had met? <clears throat> you are not originally of this world. That is why we meet for the first time. Yes. Sage, earlier you said this may be the third time we have come in contact. What did you mean by that? Your only memory of me is when you were brought here by the previous Vestor. Correct, Agnes? That's right. I came with the Mother Vestal and Olivia when I was but a young girl. However, I have met another who looks exactly as you do now. What? It was a very long time ago. More than 1,800 years, in fact. 1,800 years? Just how old are you, Sage? Me? I have lived almost 1900 years. Damn. 1900 years? No cause for surprise. Lord De Rosso is 500 years my senior. We were once mortal enemies, he and I. I was High Inquisitor of the Crystal Orthodoxy. He was an immortal who led those seeking to thwart us. We crossed swords on the field of battle dozens of times. In our final battle, the fighting went on for over a hundred days. A true struggle to the death. With both forces decimated, the two of us met in combat. Each determined to land the killing blow or die trying. At that moment, an angel appeared before us. This wounded angel was a beautiful young woman who looked exactly like you, Agnes. Both Lord De Rosso and I were mesmerized, and before we knew it, we cast our swords aside and went to her aid. She had lost her light, and her wings were broken and severed. We knew she was beyond saving. We were only with the angel a short time. To Lord De Rosso and I, who mark our lives in centuries, it seemed little more than an instant now. But this moment changed both of our lives dramatically. With the last of her fading strength, 
She spoke to us of the crystal secrets and of their dangers. Dangers? I was a man of the cloth, and Lord De Rosso was one who opposed my religion. The truths we learned that day shook the very foundations of all we had both believed in. What did the angel tell you? The crystals have existed since well before both the orthodoxy and the old faith. The Vestals do not draw the favor of the crystals by right. This title was merely given by those of the faith to ones who had this gift. Originally, it was thought that mankind should not come in contact with the crystals. Attitudes towards the crystals only changed among the people after the teachings of crystallism spread. What do you mean that we should not come in contact with them? Unleashing the power of the crystals without due care can destroy the borders, opening the door to the harrowing. There have been warnings about this since before recorded history. The angel confirmed there was truth to these warnings. What is this harrowing? I have spent the last 1,800 years trying to find out, but as yet, I am still in the dark. The true nature of the harrowing is shrouded in mystery. Is the great chasm that opened in Kaldisla not the harrowing? The Great Chasm is merely an omen of it. It was one of the events the angel spoke of. I cannot say if the harrowing was from the Great Chasm opening up, drawing in darkness, then spewing it forth. Or it may point to the tainting of the seas, the wind stopping, the volcanoes erupting. In a previous world, we awakened the Four Crystals and calmed the fury of nature. Then we summoned the Holy Pillar to close the Great Chasm. Hmm. You may have acted in the belief that what you did would help. However... However? The path you have taken to this point aligns perfectly with the path to the harrowing prophesied by the Angel. The path to the harrowing? Do you plan to awaken the crystals again? If so, you would do well to heed what I have said. Always question how the actions you take will affect the world around you. We will. Thank you for hearing me out. It is a remarkable resemblance, Agnes. You and the angel. Speaking with you has brought the memories of 1,800 years ago back as vividly as if they were yesterday. Sage. <laughs> At this rate, I shall be compelled to clasp you to my breast and plant a kiss upon your lips. I shall now set forth on a journey. You have filled me with the passion of youth for the first time in many years. Uh... Why do you look upon me with such a piteous gaze? I may have lived 1900 years, but I am not ready to lay down and die yet. You two youngsters should go back to your friends. Here, I have repaired your vestal garb. Thank you, Sage. Thank you very much. Of course. I wish you good health, Agnes. Right. Mm, what do you think of the Sage's story, Tiz? To be honest, I'm even more confused than before. I have to agree. 
I get the feeling he has not told us the full story. But why would he leave us in the dark? He either did so for good reason, or because there was something he was unwilling to share. <sighs> either way, he sure is an old lech. You are not wrong there. Anyway, let's go meet up with the others. That's why we keep those. We can just teleport our way right back to where we was. There they are. Sorry for the wait. That old fart hasn't filled your head with strange thoughts, has he, Anyas? No need to worry, Aerie. Anyas had Tiz to look after her after all. Yeah. Well. <laughs> you two are quite the pair. I envy you. That's what the sage said. Did he now? I am not surprised. He and I did have a few things in common, to be sure. That's enough out of you, Ringabel. 